Good afternoon. I'm Maureen Strickland. I am the Social Enterprise Development Specialist here at the Social Enterprise and Entrepreneurship Social Enterprise Regional Partnership in Northern Ontario. This webinar is just going to um, walk you through navigating our uh, new web page. Um, I do also have Zach Lowe, a research assistant here at Nordic Institute. He's monitoring the chat room. Um, if you have any questions, can you, uh, if you could write it in the chat box, Zach will make sure I answer them. Um, we have everybody on mute for this session. So I'm going to show you sort of, sort of key points of this web page. I just want to make a note that this is a brand new web page that uh, launched a couple of days ago. So it's a little bit of a work in progress. Some things, as you come back to the web page over the next few weeks, um, some things will change and there will be uh, regular updates to some portions of this web page. Also, just to remind you that all nine webinars will be uploaded to this web page within the next uh, 10 business days, as well as the PowerPoints. So we're on the main page here of the, um, of the web page, and you can actually use this main page to navigate to all the sections of the entire page. One way you can do this is by going to the drop down menu. Oops, what's going on? Oh, here we go. Going to the drop down menu, and it will give you um, all the various sections of the page. You can also scroll down through this main page to get to the various sections, programs and resources, funding, etc. And then the third way you can move around is to go right to the bottom and you can go in off of uh, the bottom into all the sections. So I just wanted to point that out about the main page. And now we're going to walk through the um, various pages of this web page. So the first one is um, social enterprise and entrepreneurship. So this page um, is going, it gives you an overview of the partnership and anybody who's been on any of the webinars have heard my spiel. So in this case, if you're interested and you're new, you can read about it under about us. Um, then I think the interesting, the most, the key part of this page at this point is that you're able to go in and look at social enterprises in the region. So I'm just going to show you one of these. Um, it's Clover, Clover, Belt, Clover Belt Food Co-op. So you can go in, open up their website off this page, and you can see all about um, their, their co-op up in northwestern Ontario. Um, this actual page of the, um, get out of here. This page of our website is going to see some substantial uh, change over the next few weeks. We're going to align the uh, information on social enterprise to line up more logically with the, um, the webinars and tools that we've created but it is a good resource now to just go in and read about different types of social enterprises in Northern Ontario. Um, and in some ways it mirrors the social enterprise 101 webinar in terms of its information, but we're just going to make that a bit tighter over the next couple of weeks. So moving on from that page, um, you can then go into programs and resources. And what this page will show you, I think the interesting, the best thing about this page is that you can access links to all of our, all of the one members. So we scroll down to Northern Ontario service providers. So the big goal of this project is to uh, link social enterprises to the one members in the region. So that's the regional innovation centers. Um, the Small Business Enterprise Centers, and the Campus Linked Accelerators. So from here, you could go into any of the innovation centers that are near you and open their web page and see what they have to offer. So for instance, I'm going to open the Sault Ste. Marie Innovation Centers page. And right away, then you can read all about them, who they are, um, what resources do they have, events and workshops coming up for them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So if you're up in Thunder Bay, you can link onto theirs from here or Sudbury, um, North Bay, et cetera. Similarly, if we go down, 
all the small business enterprise centers in the north are on the page and you can link into their web pages so our key um steering committee committee partner for this is timmins so i'm going to open their web page and it takes you right to the business section of the Tim timmins economic development corporation which is their small business enterprise center and here you will see all the services they provide. They provide bilingual services. You can get one-on-one -on -one business cons consultations. They offer workshops and seminars. They can assist you with business plan development, etc. So depending again where you are in the region, you can click on your closest um, small business enterprise center. Now certainly um, I live in the Sudbury area but they service a large region around Sudbury. So for instance, they service Manitoulin Island. So if you are in a rural part of the province, it's very likely that one of these centers will also serve, serve you. Um, oops, oh, I went too far. Go back into programs and resources. Um, and then the other group of one members that we have links to besides the innovation centers and the small business enterprise centers is the campus so the youth entrepreneurship programs, our um, steering committee member for this is you launch here in Sault Ste. Marie. So I'll open that web page, And here you will see what they have to offer to support um, entrepreneurs as young as nine all the way through to 29. Um, and the events they're holding, the resources they have, let's click on um, their resources and they're offering workshops so you can see that this portal so they have workshops on idea generation market research business model canvas marketing and branding financials and sales so you can see that this portal um, can be very helpful to connect you to your one members in your communities and they will also have business development resources on their web pages, as well as the ability to go in and meet with a, um, a business development consultant. So that's very uh, helpful. Um, and then following that, we do have some business planning resources and just some resources that Nordic has developed. Like for instance, I just gave a webinar uh, prior to this one on community asset mapping. Well, here you can actually, um, download off the web page the facilitator's guide to community asset mapping right off the web page so that is the um, programs and resources section now we're going to go into funding so here just a few key points um, our program has developed a funding toolkit now these things do change um, quite rapidly, but this is a funding toolkit you could download. Um, you will need to, um, you know, make some of the things in here will be out of date. It was made in 2017, but some of the some of the opportunities would still be open. So that's just a caveat that you need to check. But for instance, if we go into this toolkit, it's puts funding under different themes. So there's, we have agriculture and environment, arts and culture, cooperative funding, business, uh, francophone specific, indigenous specific, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if we go into uh, social enterprise specific, these would be funds specific for, so basically, let's say you're a food uh, related social enterprise. Well, you, you would be eligible for social enterprise funding, but you'd also be eligible for food under your sector. And that's what this funding guide breaks down. Um, so let's, so here there's something called the Ontario Catapult, Catapult Microloan Fund. So if we go back into our webpage, um, we scroll down here a bit further. Under the, so, so here we have links to some of the funding that was identified in the toolkit. Um, and if we scroll down to all of Ontario, we see the Catapult microloan fund which was in the funding toolkit we can open to their web page and then you can get all the information about how to apply for the Ontario catapult microloan fund um, you know who's eligible what they do etc so that's how you can use the funding uh, page 
Then we'll go back up and look at Spotlight Series. So this highlights, <clears throat> this highlights um, social enterprises in Northern Ontario. So the idea here is that you can be, uh, you can get information about different um, social enterprises. You can be inspired. You can contact them, for instance. So the first one on the top is Rethink Green, um, which is a, um, an environmental social enterprise in Sudbury. So if you want to read more, you just click on that button. And then you will get a full profile of Rethink Green, how they operate, what they do, how they are a social enterprise. And then at the bottom, um, you can then go to their webpage off this webpage. So you can scroll through that. Maybe you'll find a, a social enterprise is kind of like something you're imagining. Um, then you can read more information about them, get connected to them, etc. that way. And we're constantly adding new, um, new enterprises to the, um, the spotlight page. And certainly if you are a social enterprise and you'd like to be spotlighted, uh, contact us. And then further down, news and events. So here is where you would find information on upcoming workshops, um, uh, both um, workshops that are being delivered through this one partnership, but also potentially um, ones by our partners. So the Wabatec Enterprise Workshop Series is here. So if you are um, in the community and you're doing something related to social enterprise, we'd love for you to contact us and give us the information because we can add it to this news and events page. So here we're going to just click on the social enterprise roundtables that are coming up in um, 2019 and you'll see that there's some basic information regarding um, the Timmins and Kenora roundtables and that will be developed a little bit more as we get closer to um, the event but you know something to keep your eyes on to see about uh, what events are happening around social enterprise. Then we have um, useful links. So here are links related to um, getting started with a social enterprise, uh, reports on social enterprise development um, regionally and in Ontario, other organizations involved in social enterprise in Ontario and regionally, um, programs and courses, so organizations that offer uh, workshops, courses you could take on social enterprise and, and entrepreneurship, um, and a reading list of things that you might find in, uh, informative. So for instance, I will go to um, organizations. There's the organization, the Sea Change Magazine. Click on that. And it will take you to, eventually, here we go, the Magazine of Social Entrepreneurship. So again, this covers uh, social entrepreneurship in Canada. Lots of really good information, inspiration, um, you know, and you could just find it through this uh, RC webpage. So, you know, play around, spend some time, look at these different things. There's rain. If you're, if you're involved in agriculture, it's the uh, Rural Aggregation, Agriculture Innovation Network here in Northern Ontario. You can access their webpage off this page. Um, I've managed to get into the French webpage, which is, which is fine. Um, so yeah, so a lot to explore on the webpage here. Um, and then finally, we get down to contact us. So there's a box here where you can ask a question. You can send us a you can send us an email with a question, or if you wanted to be spotlighted, um, <clears throat> you could do it through this box. We're also looking for people who might be interested in being mentors for social entrepreneurs throughout the north. So if you want to become a mentor, click that box, send it our way. We'll get back in touch with you. And certainly, um, we encourage everybody who's interested in social enterprises uh, to join our newsletter. The newsletter comes out once a month and you can join by clicking this box and submitting this form and then you'll be put on the, um, the newsletter mailing list. So that's a quick overview of our new webpage. Um, there are lots of 
uh, resources on here to uh, explore. And also, it's a very good portal to connect you to the one members in the North, as well as other organizations involved in social enterprise that have resources that you can use. So I know that was very quick, but people are familiar with web pages, so you can get on there and play around with it on your own. Um, are there any questions, Zach? No questions. Okay. Um, that's great. So we have one webinar left. It is this afternoon at two o'clock and it will be very brief. It's about 15 minutes and it's around how you could, some of the principles, ways that you can start a successful grassroots peer mentoring circle in your community. So hopefully we will uh, see you there one last time. Okay. Bye.